Hello everyone and welcome to another in a series of technology focused tips brought to you by the team at K2 Enterprises. My name is Tommy Stevens, I'm the managing partner at K2 and we're certainly glad that you've dropped by today to learn a little bit more about Excel, more specifically a relatively new feature that has been dropped into Excel that now allows you to copy data out of Excel's status bar, and we'll explain what that means momentarily, copy data out of Excel's status bar and then paste that data not only into an Excel workbook, but frankly into any other Windows-based application. This is going to save you a lot of time and trouble and aggravation along the way, so I hope you're looking forward to learning more about this particular feature. Uh, as we get started with this, just two very quick fundamentals that you need to understand before I go into demo mode on the uh, on the new feature. The first of which, this is a feature that is currently being rolled out in the Microsoft 365 update process. Now, as of the date that I'm recording this, which is early July of 2022, uh, this feature is now available if you are in something called the current channel. And I'll explain more about that in just a few moments. But if you are in the current channel and you have the most recent update for the current channel, then you will be able to take advantage of this feature. We're going to go to the link that you see on your screen momentarily, and, and I'll talk more about what the current channel means versus some of the other channels. But just know that that link or the QR code, if you choose to use the QR code, both of those are going to take you to the Microsoft website where we are headed right now. And let's go in that direction. Now, again, you kind of have to understand in this world of subscription software licensing, you kind of have to understand just a little bit about what the update channels are all about. Primarily, in the 365 environment, the Microsoft 365 environment, there are three update channels, three primary update channels. There are others, but probably 98 or so percent of consumers and business professionals are on one of the following three channels. There is something called the current channel, which is what I am on. There is something called the monthly enterprise channel. And then there is something called the semi-annual enterprise channel. Now, with both the current channel and the monthly channel, we get updates added into our instance of Microsoft Office through the 365 subscription. We get those updates as often as every month, in fact, every month. Um, the primary difference there is in the current channel, you get the update as soon as it is available. In the monthly enterprise channel, you get it on a scheduled date, which is typically the second Tuesday of every month. The semi-annual enterprise channel, as its name implies, indicates that you're going to get your updates, your feature updates, every six months. Now, recognize that for all three of those channels, and frankly, for all of the channels, these are just the three primary channels, uh, for all channels, you get security updates and bug fixes uh, on a monthly basis, typically the second Tuesday of every month. Now, I happen to know that I am in the current channel, and I'll show you how I know that in just a few moments so you can kind of track along in your instance of Excel. And because I'm in the current channel, I'm going to click out here on the left-hand side where it says Microsoft 365 Apps, and I'm going to click on Current Channel, and I'm going to click on Release Notes. And what I would encourage you to do is the same thing. Just make sure that you're doing that uh, for your particular channel, whether that's current, whether that's uh, monthly enterprise or semi-annual enterprise. Now, what this shows me is for version 2206, which was released on June the 29th, here are all of the feature updates, including the one that we're about to talk uh, through just a, in, in just one moment, and that is copying data from the status bar. Now, quite frankly, I did not know that that feature was there until I was browsing through this website, as I do uh, several times a month, to, until I was browsing through the website, and I saw that release, that update. And, and because it's a new feature, and features can help me to work more efficiently, more effectively, uh, they can increase my productivity, I went in and explored it, and I think it's a fantastic new feature. What I would encourage you to do is periodically, whether that's once a month, twice a month, once a quarter, whatever frequency you decide is best for you, come out here and find your channel and then dive in to the release notes and see what's new in your instance of Excel or Word or PowerPoint or any of the other Microsoft Office applications. So, so again, presently this is only available in the uh, 365 versions of Excel. Now, if you happen to be running a perpetual license of Excel, something like Excel 2019 or Excel 2021, 
Understand that this feature is never going to be made available to you until you upgrade to the next perpetual license of Excel, which is widely assumed today to be uh, arriving in late 2023 and will likely be named Office 2024. Further, there's a tremendous amount of speculation yet to be confirmed by Microsoft, but a tremendous amount of speculation that that will be the last perpetual license and everything after that point will indeed be subscription-based. So again, understand availability of this feature is dependent upon whether or not you are in a 365 version of Excel or a perpetual license of Excel. And if you are in the 365 version of Excel, whether or not you have received and, and applied the latest updates. Now, speaking of updates, how do I know what version I'm in and what my update cadence is? We can find that very easily by clicking on the File tab of the ribbon in Excel and then dropping down near the lower left-hand corner and choosing Account. Now, if you don't see Account uh, there in the lower left-hand corner, that's purely because you must be on a perpetual license as opposed to a subscription license. So I click on Account, and then I can see right here in the middle of the screen where it says About Excel, I can see that I'm on version 2205 and that I am in the current channel. So that clearly lets me know exactly where I happen to be right now. That's uh, pretty valuable information, by the way, uh, in, in this world of subscription licensing. So make sure you understand how to get there if you're indeed on a subscription license. Now, one other quick fundamental, and then we can get into demo mode. Do understand that before you can take advantage of this feature, you must enable calculations in your status bar in Excel. I'm going to show you how to do that momentarily. But obviously, if those calculations are not enabled, then there are going to be no values that have been calculated, and therefore, there's going to be nothing uh, for you to copy and paste. With that said, let's get now into demo mode. And first off, how do we enable the calculations in the status bar if they are not already enabled? Well, again, uh, let's make sure we understand one thing. The status bar is this bar right at the very bottom of my Excel window. Uh, we can see over here in the lower left-hand corner, it says that, uh, that Excel is ready, that I'm um, good to go as far as accessibility is concerned, et cetera, et cetera. All of those are indicators coming from the status bar. Now, if I were to right-click anywhere on the status bar, I could see all of the options that are available to me. And very importantly, as far as calculations are concerned, notice that we have six different calculations that are available to us. As you can see, those include average, count, numerical count, minimum, maximum, and sum functions. I have enabled three of those calculations, average count and sum. Um, if I wanted to enable, for example, the numerical count or the, minim, or the min function, I would just check the box next to the minimum function, and now I have enabled that calculation as well. So, step number one, once you, once you understand what version of Excel you're in, uh, you're going to have to go in and check and make sure that you do indeed have the appropriate calculations enabled. With those calculations enabled, as I go in and select data, and I can select contiguous or non-contiguous ranges as the case might be, then notice based on all of those selected cells over here near the lower right-hand corner, I'm getting an average, I'm getting a count, I'm getting a min, and I'm getting a sum, the four numerical calculations that I enabled. Now, that, had, that, that feature has been in Excel, frankly, for as long as I can remember. That's not what's new. What's new now is if you have calculations enabled in the status bar, and let's say the sum uh, for 12 million plus, if I click now on that 12 million plus, that has now copied onto my Windows clipboard, which means I can click anywhere else in Excel and choose to paste that value. So I'd, all I did was a paste function right there, and there's the $12 million. And likewise, if I, I'm just going to select a different range, if I select that range of data and I click where it currently says 19 million, or frankly, any of the other calculations, but I'll just do the 19 million, now I can right-click and choose to paste that value anywhere that I choose in the workbook. It goes beyond that, though. This data that we are copying from the status bar, it's actually being copied to the Windows clipboard. And because that data is being copied to the Windows clipboard, I can paste that into any other Windows application. 
certainly including all of the Microsoft Office applications, but also I could paste it into the Windows calculator. Any other calculation that supports copy and paste processes, we can use this feature to paste that data into. So this could be a highly, highly useful and effective feature, a nice little shortcut, if you will, to save time on manually building calculations and then uh, trying to get the, the values out of Excel and put them somewhere else. We can, we can do that very easily uh, by just copying the data directly from the status bar. Pretty simple. Uh, very straightforward, nothing, nothing really too terribly complex about this one, but I think this is going to be a feature that as more people learn about it, they're really going to want to gravitate to it and take advantage of it. I hope this information has been helpful for you. On behalf of the team at K2 Enterprises, we thank you for dropping by today. If you have any questions, concerns, or if we can ever be a resource for you, always feel to reach out uh, to me. My email address, as you can see on the screen right now, is tommy at k2e.com, and I'll do my best to get back with you just as quickly as I can. Once again, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.